Welcome to the video from the digital lifestyle.com. New Windows 10 build to look at. This is build 18875. It's a 20H1 build. And this is the first 20H1 build that's been released to the fast ring. The previous 20H1 builds were released to the skip ahead option. And um, now that the May 2019 update has been completed, that's the 19H1 build. Uh, or set of builds. Now that's been completed, then um, the next, the fast ring has been pushed to 20H1. Um, you might be asking where 19H2 is. We we don't know yet. That's coming, Microsoft say, but we haven't got the details yet. So this is the 20H1, the first build for fast ring. Now on my devices, I've got some on fast ring and some on skip ahead. The fast ring builds haven't actually worked yet. Uh, I keep getting stuck on 7% and then get an error and a few people have seen this so that's something that Microsoft are looking at but here on the skip ahead build I did get this to work by deleting the software distribution the content of the software distribution folder I restarted the machine and now here I've got this build so all that effort but there's not actually a lot to show with this build there's East Asian Microsoft's input method ed editor improvements. So uh, Japanese IME is now available to all insiders. So if you're a Japanese user, you can uh, you can customize your settings. So as I've not got uh, that installed, I can't really show you that one. The rest of the changes are all minor issues, really. It's a bit disappointing. Hopefully get some new features soon. But it is early days for this 20H1 development. Don't forget, this is not due till the next year now. So the first half of next year. So almost this time next year. Uh, so the fixes on this include fixes on interaction with touch, um, fix on settings where it would crash on the last few builds. But as you can see, it's working uh, OK on my machine. They fixed an issue with... Um, temporary files in the system storage settings being um, garbled in Chinese and Japanese and the fixed timeline issue uh, where if you were doing a search in timeline it didn't work and they fixed issues where the photo tile would cause unexpected battery drain as the uh, animation would trigger even if start wasn't open so that's the animation on the photos app it was still going even though you couldn't see start menu which is draining your your um, your device so there are a few known issues with this some of the known issues in fact most of the known issues are carried forward from the 19h1 and previous 20h1 builds so if you've got some games with anti-cheat technology built into them unless they've been updated to support 19h1 it won't be installed on these machines it'll be blocked uh, there's still some issues with Realtek SD card readers and Creative XY sound cards, although Creative have updated their drivers, so you may need to update your drivers for that. The other known issue is the one I mentioned at the beginning. This is where you get uh, 0XCA00A000 um, in the Windows Update screen, and um, that's caused by and that's caused by this issue that I mentioned earlier about. Um, uh, where I deleted my software distribution folder in the Windows uh, directory to, to get it to work but it's really only for 19H1 uh, users that are having this problem so um, I don't think there's currently a fix but you can go to the feedback hub and you can go to the feedback hub and upvote up, up the collection which has that error message on there if you're experiencing that so that's it like I said early days for the um, 20H1 Microsoft say they need some extra time, that's why they've done this, uh, started with this release earlier than they would do normally due to underhood changes. So hopefully we'll get some new features soon and I'll show you those on our YouTube channel on digitallifestyle.com at isdixon on Twitter. Oh, make sure you check out our weekly build summary video as well.